Kev Edwardson rally here. Uh, it's been a bit of a while since I've done a video. Um, was on holiday for two weeks and then went to see Wales GP and then had over a week off sick. And then went back to work and got sent to Scotland for a week. So, yeah, I've been a uh, pretty chocker to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, I can get back into some sort of rhythm now. Um, try and get some decent content out there. Uh, apart from just live streaming leagues. Uh, so, what we're going to do today is a Monte Carlo stage on a Seto Corsa. Um, downloaded this a while back. Had a little go and um, thought I'd do a video on it, but just haven't had a chance to get back on it. So, um, I can't remember if I've done the co-driver app, app on it or not. So I might have to run through with the co-driver first. Uh, but we'll find out. I remember looking at the the review on this on the web page i think it was off race department and the guy started it um and then if, from what i can gather i think he got bored halfway through and hasn't gone back and sort of optimized it um but we'll have a go and see what it's like um yeah so here we go okay so the code driver app seems to have disappeared for some reason so um i'll have to try and go through with that little mini map in the corner which i think it's going to be a little bit painful <laughs> so here we go okay. Ooh, slippy right off the bat No grip whatsoever. Absolutely not. It's like I haven't got spiked tires. What the? Um. Okay. I think the roads disappeared. No. Nope. <laughs> Yay. I think you can see where the guy gave up when he was making it. Ooh, there we go. Not bad little stage, so. Definitely do with the cold driver after. What? Real, really difficult to see. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's just like the graphics. Oh. PlayStation One. Oh my, turn on. Like part of it looks really nice and then other parts of it are just there's no detail whatsoever. No textures on the surface. Just just all sort of blends in. You go on to that snow as well, slows you right down. Where am I going? Oh, that's better drifting. Just can't really. Too fast because I just I can't make out the road. Ooh. 
is. And I'm just saying sort of rely on the map, but it's not very... Uh, it's not very clear itself. It's just a load of wavy lines. Come on, get up there. I guess uh, it must be more tarmac rather than snow. A tricky bit coming up here by the looks of it. See what way to go. <laughs> Stage itself isn't too bad, to be honest. Just needs a little bit more detail. I think even with the cold driver app, this would be tough because you just kind of guessing your way through it. When you can see, you can commit a bit more. It actually, it's actually fairly enjoyable. Rock here, punish me. Oh, 
Jesus. We had a bit of memory on the stage. <laughs> exactly, we really. There we go, nice faster. That'd be actually quite cool, I reckon. <laughs> Spinach. <sighs> That's it, yeah. Okay, so. That is Monte Carlo Stage 3, I think it's called. Um, it's got a certain charm. Um, not the best stage out there, but I, say it, look, I think it got started and then just, just got left. Uh, but it'd be nice if someone actually went back and finished it off, or if the guy who started it went back and finished it off. Uh, maybe he just hasn't got the time, or who knows. But surely someone could do something with it and actually turn it into like a really decent stage. Uh, all the basics are there, it's just... Need some textures and a bit of depth into the road so you can see where you're going. Um, and everything's a bit squ like the snow banks are a little bit square. It don't look too great. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's Monte Carlo. Uh, thanks again for joining. Uh, hopefully I'll get back into a rhythm with videos and content again now. Uh, but work is just kind of up and down, so uh, the videos will probably be sort of hit and miss if I'm busy work and then. I work 50 hours a week anyway, just me basic, so if I end up back in Scotland and stuff like that, then there's nothing I can do. Um, it's just a case of picking it back up when I get the time again. Uh, but thanks to people who have stuck with us so far. Uh, and yeah, I've got some reviews coming out. SSH Shifter, which I've been using, and this uh, RS6 Track Racer rig uh, I've been using for the last couple of weeks. So, um, I'll give it another week or so testing and then I'll probably do a review on, on that as well. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe and all the usual good stuff and uh, I'll see you on the next videos. Thanks for joining.